All right, what's up, boys? A bunch of you are not going to be familiar with this game, nor have I ever even uploaded it. But um, this was something that I used to play way back in high school, and recently I got back into it. It's called Brave Frontier. I'm not going to get into anything. Uh, I just wanted to record the new event, some of the battles, and uh, some other stuff, just because... Uh, for those who enjoy Ninja Classic, though, I will be putting out something later on today. Let's see. Vortex. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There you go. Now, this started yesterday. I claimed the earlier words. I uh, didn't mean to, like, not do it, though, because I could have done over 14 battles, but I was too busy, so I was only able to get two in, which is a huge waste. Now, that itself is not going to like allow me to get anywhere in this event now if I can just find someone zero now whatever I'll do it uh, now let's see how this fight goes well since when did I get 61k that's what I want to know okay uh, dream has to attack do it there you go insta kill everyone I got lucky because sometimes she won't use her skill especially if it's that low huh all right, well, this is a, uh, a PvP, basically, for those who are watching that don't know what this game's about. And I don't know why this is happening. That's really inconvenient. Come on, dude. I have six more to go, and you're gonna give me this crap? There we go. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure if this is how, like, if this works within active people that are trying to find matches or is it just random that's something that i didn't really figure out ever because i just started playing this game again like i'm gonna say three weeks ago uh or a little over a month and i'm already back to level 400 my previous account back when i was in high school i think the max uh max level i got was around i'm gonna say 95 uh, cause back in the day it was really hard to level up. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Now it's actually quite simple. There's so many events that just help you. The double XP, half energy, all that good stuff. Right? So, I'm not really gonna lose any PvP. Unless someone has BB Absorption and gets a super BB in the first round and then uses it. Uh, yeah, that's the only way that I'm going to lose because how PvP works in specific arenas is that you go first, no matter what. And because I go first, you cannot kill me. Like, you're not going to kill me, right? And this is not even my best team, first of all. It's actually just a uh, light-only team because there's... Um, different types there's light dark thunder fire water and earth this event this a pvp event is specifically for light units only as you can see right here it's only light so that's what i'm focusing on right now ranked up yay now i don't know if i want to use gems uh, by the way, this is a highly pay-to-win game. <laughs> this is, a, like, this is worse than Ninja Classic for those who are watching uh, up to this point. Um, it's, it's just way worse than Ninja Classic. The thing is, though, you don't have to. Um, gems, for example, you can get them easily. Um, as a first player, you're going to get around 60 gems in, like, 6 hours of gameplay. If you do the main quests and everything, and you focus on leveling up, because that gives you more gems as well. So, up to level 200, you're going to get tons and tons of gems for free. Like, easy. So from there, you can summon, which I'm going to explain how that works in a bit. Uh, but this game is hype. Uh, it's pay to, win, pay to win, basically, because of how bad the RNG is in this game to uh, summon units. Uh, for example, this dream... The Ama Dream unit is one of the rarest light units and the best as of right now, or one of the best. And I got her on my first try. Now, when you're a first player, you get like really good units on your first summon just so you can engage in the game more. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool that they did that. 
Now, these are the rewards for the event. Let's see, what does that do? 60% boost uh, light types. High probability of resistance against one KO attack. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. I have to get in the top 1500. Now, the thing is, though, for me, like, winning the matches, it's not hard at all, right? It's really easy. The problem is, though, people are going to be spending tons of gems to restore the arena orbs. Because this reward, this right here, it's a sphere. And I'll explain what that is in just a second. So, I don't have any more, right? So, as you can see right, right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and they refill every hour. So, you can get a total of 14 in one day, right? Or you can use gems. Of course, people that, you know, pay for gems are gonna, like, just spam this and get it. Because right now, ranking, for example, look at this guy. 300 wins. This is the second day of the event, by the way. 300 wins. Right. So, see? So, these guys are just going all out. Like, they're just going deep, balls deep on this thing. So, I'm not gonna get in the top 1500, sadly. Um... Just because I don't want to spend my gems. Probably should though. So for those who are looking to play this game, I highly recommend it if you have some time to waste. Uh, the best way to level up right now, I'm going to tell you, is Daily Dungeon. You go to this Souls Training Ground. Right now it's 2 times the XP. And each time you win... Well, you, you guys are probably not going to be able to beat this one, but let's say you go to this level 1. It's still going to give you a ton of XP. So by the time that you level up, or get the units and get and you're like able to beat level four you can just do this automatically yeah, where is it oh you can just pick a support you can just a quest repeat this go afk and you're gonna be level 100 by the next four hours maybe less <laughs> right of course now you need a ton of xp as you can see which is why i'm not doing this well I actually do this, but I leave this on for the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, sometimes it crashes, though. The problem with... Because uh, this is the Windows version, right? Uh, which, I mean, you can sync. Uh, my advice is for you to sync it into your Facebook account because you can play it everywhere. You can download the app, the Windows app on a PC and a laptop or on your phone. So it syncs all your progress and everything. Which is good, and I thought that this would be, like, because I don't want to leave my phone on all day, right? Just doing this. I thought that you could, uh, you know, just leave this on, like, the Windows app, for example. The problem is that it crashes randomly. So, I could leave this AFK for about an hour, four hours, right? It could be really well, or it'll just crash. So that's the one thing I don't like. So this is my arena team. I should not use that team for here though. Uh, let's see, squad. I'm gonna use my try hard class. Where is that at? There it is, okay. So as you can see, <laughs> consecutive victories. I'm on a 683 streak right now. Now it would be 874. The reason why is because when I first started playing this game again, I had completely forgotten that, you know, sometimes you don't get lucky, and I only had one unit, and that was the amateur, but one unit is not going to help against five people. So that's how I lost the 21 times, because uh, this was the first two days of playing the game. And that was almost a month ago or something, so since then, I haven't lost any matches, right? Because again, you go first. Now, I like to see their BP, I guess that you could say. Um, because the higher it is, the more you gain. Like this one, for example, 8-9. That's way more than I do, right? He's got like almost 2,000 wins and 10 losses, right? So, oh, he's a scary guy. No, he's not. I'm going to kill him easily. Let's see. Any good units? No, they're all trash. See, round one. Okay, so this guy has high resistance to 1k attacks. Now, that's a problem in the future with better units because they absorb. Um, 
uh, stuff so you can use your special attack and that could kill your entire team the thing is though my team has four people that are resistant to one ko attacks so uh it's not really a problem for me i'm gonna say now let me show you guys something the summon like how you get these units so there's different ways you can do special quests that are right here on the where is it? Imperial Capital Randall. Which I don't believe you unlock until level 40. But like I said, you guys can level up really easily. So, uh, let's see. I think it's Summoner Research. Yeah, yeah, here. You go to Trial Zone. And these are really hard for someone who doesn't have good units. So the way that you basically unlock these is by going into the regular quests and finishing up worlds. The thing with this game is that it has so much to do, you are never going to like stop playing this game. Because uh, there's a million quests, and I'll show you right here. See? See how many worlds there are, right? This is the first gate, by the way. So, let's go, let's just go in this first one, Mistral, right? So, this is where you, for, no, this is where you first start. Okay? Now, look at this. First of all, you have to go... Okay, so this one only has three battles, right, in each little section. Later on, each one has about, look at that, six to seven, right? So, take that into consideration. So, this little area, let's pretend that this one has already six or seven. Six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. Next page, wait, crap. Next page, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. Next page, <laughs> right? And then, once you finish the third page, well, uh, keep in mind that not every single one of these has a third page. Some of them have only two, or sometimes one. Now, do that, multiply it by all these worlds, right? And they progressively get harder, but, you know, once you get good units, you can just wipe everything out. For example, I'm going to show you right here. This is a new area that I haven't completed because I didn't pay attention to it. Uh... Let's see, for example, I'm the, it's only 20 energy. Now, these special ones, later on, they cost 50. Now, this special event, as you can see, gives you four times the XP, which is good for you guys to, uh, uh, to start with if you want to. Now, you can select friends to help you. Now, if you don't have friends, you're going to see these guys, the plus 40, the honor plus 40, which means... You, you can check their skills and everything by holding down the unit. And here you can see the, the leader skill and the, and the special attacks. If you see someone that you like that would really help you like in the future. For example, this person has 15,000 attack. That's really freaking good. And the type is Oracle, which is one of the worst. No, actually, it's the worst type. But already 15k. So that's extremely amazing, right? So let's say you want this guy. So you have to choose him. You have to play with him. I'm going to choose another. Uh, let's just go with that team. So see how it says that you're not able to use his skill? That's because he's not your friend in the game, right? So this is how you get friends. So you choose someone that you want to have. You begin quest. Now, of course, because you guys are going to be lower levels, this is going to be more complicated considering the fact that they're gonna have worse units so once you level up the people that you find they're gonna be better so right now i can no this is what i like to do because if you don't do this see how slow they attack and everything right but if you put it to three times everything just goes fast now what i do when i do quests because i don't really care about the story i just press a uh, freaking auto and uh your skill shows up on the screen and it looks pretty cool. The thing is, that slows down your time and it just makes you waste time in my opinion. Now for someone who's new to the game and they want to see like how the skill looks and everything, okay, sure, that's fine. But for me, uh, right now, I'm just worried about leveling up. That's it. That's all I care about. So I removed the whole big picture thing, right? And... I made it so it's faster basically to farm and everything which is the way that i do things right so let's see right so you f so you finish the um the quest thingy now here once you get everything see how i got a gem just from that that was easy oh burst frog see here so you can choose to either friend request or don't friend request 
So that's how you get people. And I'm not gonna send it because I don't need him, right? Uh, to skip cutscenes, you just go up here and fast forward it. Like I said, I don't really care about the story because there's just way too much. <laughs> Um, but uh, that's how you add friends and um, You know, I only add people that are gonna be helpful like these guys for example at these top here. Uh, they're only for me Farming XP because they give you more XP the rest are just for like like events and stuff that I need them for So don't add people just because you want to have uh, extra players just I mean It's fine for a while, but once you hit level like 150 or maybe 100 you need to start adding people that are actually going to be useful to you, right? Because there's some events, well, not necessarily events, but like uh, quests and stuff, special quests that are really hard to beat. No matter how good your team is, they're actually really hard to beat. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. It's already 15 minutes long, but whatever, it's a good game. Let me just beat this guy real quick. Come on. There we go. So you go to, uh, I'm just gonna choose a really hard one for you guys that I still have not beat by the way. So that's how you know that it's actually hard. Now for some extra players out there that have like super OP units and they use their skill every freaking round then of course it's gonna, it's not gonna be hard for them, right? But for me, it is. Now where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is, Green Gaia. So I beat all of these except this one. This one's a pain in the ass and I, I want to show you a really hard one that I just get destroyed. Like this one, for example, you know, see how it says it's new. It's because I still haven't beat it. So it costs 40 energy. You're not going to have a lot of energy once you first level up. As you can see, I'm level 400 and I only have 233. Uh, but it adds up. So right here, I can choose my friend. I want to choose someone that's going to uh, give me more everything. Like this guy, for example. Niami. Now, look at this. 20 fucking thousand damage and he's only plus one which i'm gonna explain in a different video and i actually do have this character which i just got yesterday actually trying to get a new summon so all right i'm gonna use her and i'm gonna use my best team which is this guy's okay so after this i'm gonna end it and just let me know if you guys want to watch more of this. But I'm still going to uh, go on and record it because I like these sort of things. Uh, I mean, this game I really love. I never really cared much about recording it, though. So, uh, fast forward. Now, for here, I need to use my fusion potion. What that does, it gives you all your special attack already. Now, there's regular BB, which is a brave burst, right? Which is, I think, blue. Yeah, it's blue. And then there's Super Brave Burst, which you unlock as you level up your character and you unlock certain things that I'm going to explain in a different video if you guys want me to. Eh, I'm actually going to do it. Why not? So, and then you have the Ultimate, which you have to fill out the Overdrive. It's a different story. Now, the reason why I use this person right here is because um, she gives me like a dodge ability or an extra shield. It's going to turn my HP purple. See? That basically allows me to take more damage and everything see he already got his shield removed that's how like these guys are no joke dude now <laughs> look at my damage i'm not doing any damage please don't die please don't die see okay i don't know if you noticed by but my rick heal was down to one hp now a regular unit would have died the reason why she didn't die is because again she has uh, resistance to one ko attacks now I need to do this, let's see, now she also gives me HP, the problem with this event though, or this special little section, oh my god I'm dead, look at that. All of these players of mine have resistance to one attack, so now see the, um, the overdrive, I'm gonna drag it to the left to activate the ultimate BB, now I can use this to fill it up, give myself more attack, and use it, and boom. Now, that might not be impressive to you guys, but trust me. <laughs> Holy shit. And that's what happens. <laughs> he just 1k'd my entire team. Yeah. Well, you know, stuff like this. And you could use gems, but don't ever use gems to retry something, because that's just a waste. You're going to get to a point where you're not going to be patient, but trust me, do not do it. 
So that's one of them. That's the hardest one, right? And I'm not going to beat it for a while because I need some extra units that I want to get. But I'm also going to level up some. Now, there's events right now. Actually, this is really important. For you guys that made it all the way to the end and you want to play, do it. The reason why, there's login rewards. They keep that give you this these uh, uh, tickets. I haven't redeemed mine for today, but you get free freaking units that are seven stars, okay? And you have the chance to get Rakiel or or this guy named Azurai, which is the two people that I have in my team. They're one of the best units. Rakiel, right here. This is my Rakiel. And also my Azurai, Azurai, I'm not sure how you say it, right? So, you should get... Start playing daily if you want to and just redeem. That's free units, guys. Like, free units every day. That's good, right? So, for the rest, uh, basically, uh, you have to spend gems. Each summon costs gems or sometimes it costs 10 gems, right? So, that's how you do it. But, anyway, I'm going to make another one of these, actually, after this one. Because I enjoy this. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys uh, another time. Thank you. See ya.